Okay, welcome to part two of exploring your guitar before you actually learn how to play it. Okay, in the last uh, lesson, we had just uh, one simple shape, which was to take these two fingers and put them anywhere where there is two strings and one fret in order to get different sounds. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this index finger, okay, and what I want you to do is second fret and then the uh, second string down Okay, down meaning from low to high. Okay, middle finger here, ring finger right underneath it, and then right here on the fourth string down, put your index finger. Now, put it kind of close to the fret so it'll be easier to push down. If you try to push down in the middle, you have this tension on both sides of the fret and or nut and it fights against you but this way it uh, it yields a little bit more so we're gonna take this shape okay don't even worry about what it's called it it happens to be called an E major chord but don't worry about that just take this shape okay and strum now one string at a time random strings. Okay. Remember this one. Now, take this shape, this finger shape, this hand position, and bring it down here. It's the exact same shape, but just the next strings down. So that means middle finger on this D string, ring finger, on the G string, hopefully near the fret so you can push it down easier, and then the index finger here on the B string. Now this is the exact same shape as the E major, only this one is called A minor. One string at a time. Now random strings. By maintaining this shape, switch back and forth between the two. Imagine your fingers as a uh, claw. Your hand is now a claw. You don't have fingers. All your fingers have the same shape, and they all move together. Okay? relative basic hand shape, but two different chords entirely, okay? Now, the cool thing you can do is you can put this anywhere and explore the possibilities, just like the last uh, or first <laughs> shape. So, slide it down, one fret, all right, then back. Kind of has a has a Spanish sound to it. And then down to the fifth fret, or the fifth dot, at least. Okay, now once you get a feel for that, go back to the A minor, which is down here. How that opens up. Okay, that doesn't sound quite as pretty. It sounds a bit dreamier. Okay, something scary. And then back again. Scarier. Oh, the tension is rising. 
Oh, the tension is at its height. Maximum drama. And then we're back to a dream again. <laughs> so now we're going to do that with the, this one again, the first one. shape. All one hand shape. Now, as a bonus, we're going to make that same chord, or that same chord shape, using different fingers. So instead of these two fingers plus this one, we're going to go with these two fingers plus that one. <laughs> Whatever these fingers are called. So we're going to go ring finger on the A on the second fret pinky finger on the uh, D second fret and then middle finger on the G first fret. Now that makes the E major and we go down A minor. Now you may be asking why uh, use these three fingers and learn how to do these chords with these three fingers when we've already learned these three fingers. Well, I'll show you. When you slide this E shape down and you put this index finger that's been freed by this alternate position and you lay it across here really hard and you pinch with your thumb, make sure your thumb is like right on the other side of it, okay, so that they can work together, okay. Then you get an F sharp major, or an F. F chord, F sharp major, G major, G sharp major, A major, A sharp major, sharp major, D major, D sharp major, and then back to, well, it won't let me go that far because I don't have a cutaway. <laughs> a cutaway is a, a section of the guitar that is literally cut away. So you don't typically find that on uh, some acoustics. So uh, that is one reason to learn the shape that we're learning today with that. So let's go and see what happens when we go back to the A minor using this shape. So, uh, in, uh, sorry, ring finger, second fret, third string down, which is the D string, uh, index finger, sorry, uh, pinky finger on the fourth string down, second fret, which is the G string, and then the middle finger pushing down on the first fret or first not on the fret itself uh, on the space between frets <laughs> uh, as if the, okay so we got this it should sound like that slide it down and then like the other one lay that finger across doesn't have to be perfectly across doesn't okay i like to curve mine like that. It's a slight curve where I'm using the side of my finger, but I try to get as much of my thumb behind all the fingers in this case to give them all equal support. Okay. So 
So it goes alphabet. Sorry. A minor. B minor. C minor. D minor. E minor. F minor. F minor. F sharp minor. G minor. Okay. Now, what I just taught you was called a bar chord. Bar chords, very hard to do on acoustics. But if you have light enough strings and good enough action to where the strings are not too far from the fretboard, uh, it'll be easier to push down and easier to accomplish. But uh, that is the reason why you want to practice with these two fingers together these two fingers together and these two fingers together exploring your guitar because it all builds off of that. So it's been 11 minutes. Uh, uh, take all this with a grain of salt, a piece at a time, learn at your own pace. That's what this is all about. And I'm sorry to cut my face out of this so much, but uh, this is more important. <laughs>